Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. Hope everybody's having a great day. Today we're on episode 212 and I've got a great episode planned for you as always. Guys, question of the day. What is your favorite color horse in Minecraft? I was thinking about this because we're going to be messing with horses in just a minute. And I was thinking like, there's a lot of different colors. I like the black ones. The black ones look pretty cool. I like the black, black with spots like polka dotted. Those are pretty cool too. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you enjoy Let's Play Minecraft, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. So with that being said, let's get into today's episode. So I said I wanted to start working on horses more. Now, I know we can fly around, but it might be good to have some fast horses. So we can start breeding these guys. And I'm assuming that this guy right here is the newest horse. So let's take. Oh, I still need to uh, tame him. Let's quickly grab a saddle. There we go. Come to Jevin. Let me tame you, good sir. He's <clears> got <throat> quite a bit of hearts on him. Come here. Let me love you. <clears throat> wow. Okay, there we go. So we have <laughs> best best friends forever. So let's just go ahead and take a quick test of this guy. He is pretty slow. He's not very fast. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and test out the jump feature. So we have our little jump station here. So we'll start with two blocks high. Okay, so he can do two blocks. Can do two and a quarter. This would be like two and five eighths. Hold on. So I don't think he can do this one. Nope. So he can't do the third one. All right. So after looking at his stats, he seems pretty, pretty like a pretty casual horse, to be honest with you. So let's go back over here. I'm going to put him in this one. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, to, to be honest with you, I kind of forget which horses were good over here. So I'm going to take this guy because he seems pretty slow. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we know that this guy is the slowest of the bunch. <laughs> Can he jump at all? Can he jump at all? Oh man. Okay, he's got a pretty high jump to him. All right. So can he do the third one though? Hold on. Wow, he can, okay. Can he do the fourth one? He can, okay, so he can jump incredibly high. He just doesn't have speed about him. All right, fair enough. Get this slow poke over to the storage. Put you in there. And okay, so I've got one more saddle. Should actually probably leave that there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. So this guy must the speed definitely came from the other one. Then Break those. Crap. There we go. So if this one can jump, then we should probably breed it with the other one. The new one when he got. Okay. Let's just go ahead and skip to the third one. So he can jump theory. Can he jump four? He can jump. Well, that was kind of a crooked jump. Try one more time. So he can't jump that one. So we're still stuck between the mixture of the two. But to be honest with you, a fast horse is probably a much more a better horse than something that's slow. It can jump high. So we're going to breed these two together. Hold on. Uh, what did I do? Grab you. I need to bring my saddles and stuff over here. There we go. So with these two, they were really, really fast. They just couldn't jump. So we're looking to keep that same speed. Oh. Can I? Is there a can you not breed horses? I don't know if I've given them a. Uh, um, I thought you needed golden apples to breed horses, or golden golden carrots. Uh, horse breeding Minecraft. I thought for like everything on everything it was that behavior breeding, golden apple or golden carrots. So I'm definitely doing it right. I just don't know why it's not accepting it. It's just accessing its inventory. Uh, is there no way to 
do that? Okay, so I think he took it. Okay, I think they're breedable now. There we go. That was uh, kind of confusing. So now I should be able to feed this guy carrots. Well, let me eat my carrot first. He might take another type of food. These guys are hard to target. Huh. All right, well, I'm going to keep messing with this, and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so after breeding our horses together again, uh, this was the first one. He had one heart, and then this one over here was the second one. Put that on him. He had two hearts. Our third horse that we got, which is in the middle here, he got two hearts. See how fast he is. Okay, so it looks like he might have lost a little bit of speed. So, let's skip to like three here. Can do three. Can do four. Oh. Okay, so it seems like we're losing speed. You know what we might have to do? We might have to go on the hunt for some extra horses. Because if I kind of feel like the horse pool that we have right now just isn't good enough. These horses aren't fast enough or anything like that. We need to get two really really good starting horses and then try to breed them up from there like obviously nothing will ever ever come to 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 replace thunder <laughs> r.i.p thunder i don't know what happened to him he just disappeared into the world okay i heard slimes over here so i was just hitting our lever to see how much 14 more okay not bad put all that up and let me drop all this stuff off you you and you one other thing before we leave out of here. I want to. Let me grab all this. <gasps> so that's what happened to all my gold. <clears throat> I was kind of wondering what happened to it. Grab those. Is there anything in here? I, I just wanted to quickly re replant the carrots. <clears throat> Oh my god, take these out of my inventory. <laughs> I just keep continuously placing them. There we go. Alright, so, uh, hit the lever. Oh, no, 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 hit the lever. Bad. That was not what I wanted to do. Alright, anyways, we'll keep replanting these. What we might do is try to go on a little expedition to maybe find some horses. Um, if we're gonna do that, though, we're probably gonna need a good bit of leads. So, and then getting them home is probably going to be pretty hard as well, I would imagine. Put that up there. Uh, leads are slime balls and string. I doubt that I have, well, I have a little bit of string. I don't know if I have a lot of string here, though. If, we, if anything, we could go to the spawner and try to find some. Um, eh, that might be enough. Anyways, I'm going to go on a little expedition here and see if I can't find myself some more horses. All right, guys, I got myself some horses. Unfortunately, there was a creeper incident. <laughs> I lost like two. It's all good, though. Um, so let's grab our saddle here. And <clears throat> um, these are just ones that I found in the wild. Uh, no breeding or anything like that. I just I got I got really lucky. I found like one big pot like plot of them and then I found two brown one or gray ones. So let's go ahead and test these guys out. So this this guy is he's okay. He's not the fastest. Let's go ahead and try his jumping. Anything less than three and I'm not interested. Alright, so he is a not a very good horse. And so we don't lose track of who we have tested. I'm going to put you over here. Grab me a saddleback. All right, go ahead and try this one. He's got a full health bar. Ooh, he's really fast. All right, I, I like that so far. He's really fast. This could be a winner. Can he jump three is the question. Hold on, let me get a full jump bar here. Oh my goodness, this guy's a beast. Look at him go. Okay, so this guy right here, he's like, he's a stallion, man. So let's leave him out here. We definitely want to keep him. Grab you, put you there. So we'll leave you on the outside. So you grab another one here. This guy's kind of cool looking. Look at this one. 
So this one's really slow. I'm not going to bother with the jumping on this one because he's so slow. Put you there. All right. So let me grab my saddle back. <laughs> we snaw. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Not bad. Kind of speedy. Kind of speedy. So. So he can he can definitely jump. Uh, he's all right. I'm gonna put him on this side though, under the classification of a little bit faster, but he can jump normal heights. Okay. So we've got those three. Let's go ahead and do this gray one. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, he's he's pretty quick too, actually. All right, not bad, not bad. Let's see how high he can jump now. Wow, he can jump pretty high. Hold on. So he's another good one. He's not as fast as that other guy, but he is definitely an outside the fence guy. <laughs> so we only got what one or two left. Okay. This time you won't leave this again. There we go. So. Okay, he's not bad. He's kind of fast. We'll check him out in just a second here. Yeah, he's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Oh, he can't jump. No. Okay, so I guess that would classify him as a horse that would go on this side. I think we got one more to go. Uh... Uh, him? And he's pretty slow. Wow, he can jump crazy high. So, we might take one that can jump the highest and add him to the group on the outside. Yeah, he'll go out to the outside. So we, we'll start breeding with these three. I'm not going to do any more of that today, but these guys are okay. These three, though, are our definite winners for the breeding group, so. Okay, guys, so I just got done collecting Wither Skeleton Skulls. So at our base, I want to start, like, uh, placing beacons down that give us effects uh, at certain spots. So for, like, example, uh, maybe we want speed in a certain area, like over by the farm or something, or haste. Or, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, but I want to start using those to do things. So... We are going to fight another Wither today, which it's been, it's been quite a while since we fought a Wither. Um, I know I have two beacons somewhere, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get another. Um, but yeah, so I first thing we got to do is we got to get Soul Sand. I don't know if I have any or not, to be honest with you. Um, so we'll check down here. I'm sure I might have some in storage somewhere. There's no chests down here. Okay. Uh, you know what? I think I know exactly where some is. I ended up getting four skulls. Um, I had one on me, but it went pretty fast. Like, so our wither spawner is like, it's a pretty quick thing. So, well, let's not fly right here. That's what I thought. Grab all that. There we go. All right. So now we can fight a wither. Fantastic. The only thing is, is I don't think I have any potions. So we might have to check that out. Could be an opportunity to use our potion room. There's a villager over here. <laughs> what are you doing here, villager? <sighs> Okie dokie. Hi, baby skeleton or zombie. Welcome. All right. This time you won't be missing again. So come down here real fast. I just want to drop mainly. I just want to drop stuff off because I have a lot of stuff in my inventory that I do not need. Keep those three. We've got some bottles. Do we have any like nether ward or anything around here? I probably doubt it. I wanted to brew potions. If I don't have potions, it's fine. Not a big deal. Grab you. Those must be tier three. Okay, grab those. And do I happen to have a brew stand anywhere? The main thing I want to brew is just 
potions of strength, I think. Which we should. I got rockets everywhere. There we go. That should work. Now let me just find a couple pieces of cobblestone. Cool, cool. So quickly make a brew stand. You. And then put our bottles in there. So we're going to need uh, water bottles. Do I have water in? Trying to think about where I have water at. A couple different spots. Um, hold on, let me eat. Let me nom some deliciousness. Yeah. Okay. Let me go ahead and fill all these up. Should be good enough. So I'm thinking, yeah, I don't think we're gonna need very much. Maybe fire resistance, but really, I just want strength. Strength is going to be where it's at. Uh, there we go. I'm underwater. So let's go ahead and get that, that, that. There we go. So that'll start brewing. Put all this up. Uh, where'd the tier three record? I want the tier three ones. And then I'm going to need some redstone, which I know I just saw in here. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead take you. Put you in there. So that'll make strength potions and this will make tier or eight minute strength potions. And then as far as fighting goes, I don't think I have a chest plate over here. I don't really think I'm going to need a chest plate. I think I will need my bow, which is at this point, who the hell knows where that thing is at. Let me take a look. Let me go put that in there. I have no idea. Is that it? That's it right there. Got our bow. Good to go. We solid. We out of here, fam. We solid. Up there. There we go. So we got eight minute strength potions. Strength potions for fighting withers is like the best thing ever. So since we uh, don't really have a place to fight withers yet, I think we're just going to go down here. Okay, and probably just go straight, I think. Um, it doesn't need to be like a huge area and it doesn't, it can't be by lava is the issue. Like right here could be perfect. Let me dig this out real fast. We don't need a lot of space, just enough to get him to us. This is by far the easiest way I've ever fought a wither before. Um, there we go. Mm. How far away? That's eh, not that far. Let's say get back two more blocks, I think, and then we'll probably be good to go. So. There we go. Okay. So we'll put. We'll just. I want to make sure that, like, when he explodes, he only explodes, like, right here. So that'll work right there. All right. So. Let's get that off the bar, that off the bar. Put those there. Keep you. And you. There we go. Let's go. I need some food. Uh, I'm going to put him back against the wall, I think. Actually, I need to. Oh, oh, never mind. I might be a little bit too close, but it's all good. Put a potion. Shot me right in the face. 
He's hard to hit. I might just be better off hitting him with my sword. Now, I do have decent armor on, so... Food or fast? Oh, I died! Where am I gonna spawn? Oh, I'm so far away! No! Huh. That could be, uh, is there a card in here? That could be bad. That could be real bad. Yeah, I think I think we'll be fine. I mean, the, I, the most he'll do is this regen. He might shoot stuff down the hallway to hurt us. But I think we'll be okay. The only problem is running back over there now. I can't believe I died. I should have probably been a little bit more prepared. That's a nubby death right there. I should have ate food. It's okay, though. Sometimes stuff happens. It's okay. I ain't worried about it. I'm having fun. That's all that matters, right? Over the last month or so, the one thing that I have learned more than anything in my life is that what matters to Jevin and what makes me happy is the most important. And I, because like for a long time, I always tried to please everybody. This is who I was. And now I'm just kind of like, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I'm gonna swerve on you, girl. I'm gonna swerve on you. No. But, uh,. As far as like armor and stuff goes, if we lose it, I'm not really worried because we have so many backups, like not even funny. We have a lot of backups. Like I think we have like six or seven elytras. So I should have killed him while I had the chance though. Cause bad, bad moves on Jevin's part. That's all. So he's definitely still down here. Eh, got everything back. No big deal. Take one of these. Take one of those. There we go. Yeah, see? Should have just... I should have fought him while I had the chance. That was just a nub mistakes on my part, but... Uh, and that wasn't too bad of a fight. Besides the whole, you know, getting shot in the face by the wither thing. <laughs> All right, guys. I think that's probably going to do it. Uh, hopefully that didn't stop recording. I don't know. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope everybody has a great day. This is iJevin. Peace out.